Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, MXX. So today I thought I'd try something new and make some polymer clay pins. To start off, I'm doing my mushroom design. So I've just rolled the clay out on the paper, but then quickly realized that the clay is so sticky, it got stuck to the paper. So my backdrop's now ruined. Uh, so I ended up getting a cutting mat and that seemed to help but you know kept getting stuck because the clay is so sticky today So I ended up putting it in the freezer for like two hours and that sort of helped So anyway, I ended up uh, Working out the exact shape by copying my drawing and then I ended up making a couple of these I also did another shape which will end up being a strawberry milk carton so I just cut this out at a random guess and then I like the shape once I finished smoothing out the edges so I made um, three of these in total so these are all the shapes that I cut out now it's time to bake no these weren't burnt that's just how the clay ended up looking um, but as you can tell, they're absolutely, you know, intact. They're rubbery, which is great. Except for I've got to peel some stuff off here. It got stuck. But otherwise, uh, apart from the uh, dying specks, they are good. So now it's time to paint these. So I'm just going ahead and painting all the bottoms of the mushrooms with this um, color. <laughs> And then um, I'm doing the edges as well, but I'm not going to do the backs because I don't want this design on the back. Now that the mushrooms have been done, it's time to do the strawberry milk. So I ended up going with a white Posca just so I have a rough idea where the pink is going to be on these. Because if you can see the one in the top left corner, you can tell I painted the whole thing pink in the bottom when it was not meant to look like that. Once the paint dried on the bottoms of the mushrooms, I went in with this really pale red, you'd call it? I don't know. But anyway, I went in and I ended up just painting all of the mushrooms um, and then I applied a second coat off camera. Now it's time to do the strawberry milks. So I'm just painting them all in white now just to make it look good. Um, I'm also trying to ban the boring stuff in my videos from now on and make it more entertaining for you guys so if my video is shorter that's because of that because I don't want to bore you all with like the same thing if that makes sense so I'm just trying to make everything fun and easier to watch so hopefully that helps so now it's time to go in with my favorite Posca paint pens. So I'm going to use the Posca paint pens to do the small details for the pins because they're so much easier. So for the mushrooms, I'm going in with a red, not a red, a brown and a white Posca paint pen. So I'm going to use the brown one to add the little bits that stick out on the base of a mushroom because it's not a completely flat surface. And then I'm going to add uh, white dots to all the tops. Now I'm going to go in with a green, a pink and a white to do the details for the drinks. Don't they look cute? So that's how they look so far. I think they're looking absolutely adorable. So now I've got to go in and paint all the back of them because that looks real nasty and we need our backsides to be covered. Now time for my favourite part. Oh my gosh, look at this. Bam, 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 bam. <laughs> That's amazing. Gosh, I entertain myself too much. Then I have to make these into pins, so I'm gluing the pin backs with E6000 glue. So that's how they all looked. I think they're super adorable. I mean, they're not perfect because they are handmade and freehand cut out. I don't know. But they're cute, and if you want these, they're on my Etsy shop. I'll have the link in the description. Anyway, that's it for this video. Bye, guys.